Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who are new here, my name is Mona. Yeah, so on today's video, I'm going to talk about the positives versus this, the negatives of living in the village. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I, I, when I was doing my research, I noticed the positives are more than the negatives. Cindy mm. mm. So I'm going to to point out a few of them that I've noticed while living in the village. I've never lived in the village that long. Here's a school here. But I didn't stay that long. Here they come down now. So this is what I've noticed. I'll start with the negatives. Mm. Yeah. I have a book here. <laughs> this is where I write my things, my research. Yes. So I'll start with the negatives. They're not that many. You can see it. negatives. You can see it's not that many. And these are the positives. Positives. It's like now na pages So let's go straight to. It the first one that I have noticed it's internet. Yeah. <laughs> internet connection. The <laughs> the net is <laughs> the net the network is very poor, but I there's no Wi-Fi installation. But I'll go to the net positives after this so i'll just write say the negative there's no wi-fi installation when i came here um, i didn't know no, when i came here, there is no wi-fi installation i'm expensive mostly because now i'm doing youtube they are uploading and stuff it is quite expensive for me buying the airtime for uploading data yeah it's quite expensive for me yeah i've noticed it's damn expensive i used to keep the card the scratch cards so that i can know i know how much i've spent in two weeks i had spent two thousand and bado i had not jayasabu bado i had not uh, added the ones that i bought from the phone straight from mpesa so i noticed it's quite a lot and I started my research. Yeah. So, but it doesn't bother me too much. You know, during the during the day, I normally upload videos at night because at night I've noticed most people are asleep, so the internet or uh, uploading goes very fast. Yeah. So it's not that fast, but it goes a bit faster than during the day. Yes. Okay, the second one is electricity. Hmm. It is not always on and it becomes frustrating, mostly when you have not checked the phone and you have spent the whole night, the whole night or the night uploading. So sometimes the at night you get there's no electricity and you are charging your phone. So you, yeah, because of, I guess it's due to the thunderstorms sometimes it burns things it destroys mm. and most people and some of the villagers villagers here don't have access to electricity because it's damn expensive so if you have electricity you are damn lucky yeah you're that you are you are lucky hmm? so most people use solar and sometimes there is no nini there's no there was no sun sometimes no sun. the weather is very cold Bad. pretty cold yeah so there is no the, it won't show at night so those are the negatives some of them funerals oh there are so many 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 funerals that's when you realize life life Life, life, life. Just enjoy your life. It's like your loyal, your low. 
Yolo ni manchanga ni? Eh? You. Yolo, it's you live, you only live once. So you have to enjoy your life. When you're here, you'll, after you'll start thinking. Maybe we'll see tomorrow it's your day. You get to witness many burials, funerals. Na, like this week, many, many deaths. Even now. What? Even now. Hey. But it's okay. Because <laughs> that is part of life. Every one of us will pass there. Yeah. And since I'm at the, in the village, most people come and get buried in their rural homes. So, and please guys, disclaimer, the things I'm sharing on this video about the negatives of living here in the village in Kenya are, it is based on my experience, not anyone else. It is based on my experience. So guys, yeah. And another one is fully constructed village roads because lorries that are not roadworthy and speeding matatus. Yeah, speeding matatus, the public buses, yes, make roads perilous in the villages, public roads. So this causes traffic, this causes traffic and because there are maybe many accidents that are happening on the road which are not are they uncommon. However, not all roads are bad. Like here, we are really because in a reserved area, as you guys have shown, I've shown you, it is really a reserved area, and the the roads are okay nowadays. We don't atunanga matope. And last but not least, the higher rates of poverty. It is very high. Mm -hmm. Of poverty, illiteracy, poor access to basic services such as electricity and sanitation. But they have learned to live with that and that is nice, that is good because not everyone is capable or not everyone is capable what are you, what am i saying yeah. and many kids here can see they have to go to the shamba so that they can they work for money they also work for to get money for to pay for their school fees for eating yeah you will see like now the kids are the ones who are now at the shop selling or selling something because the mothers have to go to the shamba and look for conda conda nini Konda ni like a contract to Nini, so they have to help each other so that they can meet, uh, they can Nini and make the ends meet and have food on their table at night. So that is what I've witnessed. Sanitation also is for the negatives only. I've told you it's not that many, it's like five of them. So let's go dive straight to the positives. I love positivity, <laughs> that's why I'm happy positive thing of living in the village is I finally did my research properly and I found there is a there is a Safaricom <coughs> Wi-Fi installation yeah and telecom but telecom doesn't mean the the coverage is not that uh, good so okay, it's not that good here but in keumbu i asked a few owners of the cyber cafe and they told me the best is uh, safaricom for them they have installed some have installed safaricom wi-fi others telecom but i had to go to safaricom shop they told me it's uh, around 20 20,000. that is how many dollars 20,000 that is 200 dollars yeah so i have to start saving up and invest on one yeah it will be a bit cheaper for me that way and i was really really excited <laughs> yeah
example, there's no traffic. Oh. When I go to town, there's no traffic. Yeah, there's no, there are no, it is, it, it, it is, it is self-explanatory. I don't have to explain myself. Another one is the local people here are friendly and extremely hardworking. Even the kids, they are kind, of, they are kind, talented. Yeah. And they, and if you need directions and you don't know our language, they will talk with English or they just, most of them do English, so they will. It is broadly spoken in Kisi, in our village also. Yeah. And they are willing to support you in different things. Yeah. And they are really lovely and ready to enjoy life. I just love living here. <laughs> Another one is this. There's electricity now. <laughs> but I was talking about the people who don't have electricity. Electricity in some places now, even the rural, the most reserved areas, you'll find electricity like mine. Our area is really, really, really reserved. It's not around town. so. That is as a positive. Now it's more reserved there. Yeah. No noise pollution. It is quite peaceful. There's no noise. The matatu noise, the buses, the what else? It is a peaceful serenity, mostly for someone who is uh, of old age. Even me now, I needed this. If you are suffering from depression, I'll. Just this this area beautiful you can see how peaceful the trees you can just watch or walk around send your mama mm. yeah, you can see when mom is relaxed there yeah, <laughs> yeah they're not out so mm. and life is simple Life is simple. Life is simple. Yeah. Soon you She just, she's relaxed. You can see now she's like basking. <laughs> Another one, no hair pollution. There are no smells. Sindio. Oh, it is a breath of fresh air everywhere. We are surrounded by trees. Birds are singing, and I love this serenity and peaceful. And the atmosphere is to die for. So, I told you positives are very many here. If you want to feel to to relax, any yeah. The nightlife, but at the moment people are not uh, going out since due to the law and the curfew. So. But when I was young, the light night life was superb. Yeah, people are carefree and are always having a good time. But mostly on weekends, because during the day they are very busy. Yeah, what is this? It is number eight. There's a so a stronger sense of local community because we are surrounded by a large family like ours it large like uh, it's a large nini it is a large community from the local shop to almost where well, show i've shown you the village tour yeah my homestead it is a very large we are surrounded with a large family we are all the relatives yeah and people here you cannot marry from this community the same community, even if you love each other, that is against. Send mm, It's against our tradition. It's not good. So people, I love this. <laughs> like my mom, can see my mom is from where? And she came from all the way to here. I used to ask her where they met with my dad. <laughs> 
<laughs> she says to you had the story. I don't have to go back there. There is freedom and flexibility because everywhere you are known, there's no I don't know, go part this is somewhere I don't know. And getting out of work is easier because most of the people here are farmers. They wake up very early in the morning and by ten then by ten AM they are out. Yeah. That is how simple life is here. And there is a wonderful climate. Even now we are outside, the climate is it has a gentle climate all year round. And don't encounter any extreme conditions. It has better days and cooler evenings. <laughs> so don't worry if I'm going in here, I'm doing that. However, if you want to enjoy warm climate, just head over to the coastal area, Mombasa, Ujivinjari, <laughs> which is our coastal city in Kenya. And is it is our 10th Nini. General expenditure is reasonable. In the village, the groceries and meat, it is fresh, straight from the shamba and the butchery, they sell fresh meat, fresh eggs from the chicken. If you want chicken, it's fresh. Yeah. And it is so inexpensive. It is inexpensive. So culture being in most villages here in Kenya, it is the backbone in terms of revenue. And it runs a lot of horticulture farming. So I've told you, like most of people here, they are farmers. Most of them know how to dig. <laughs> I tell you, they really, really, really know how to dig. Even mom used to know how to dig. Even me, I know how to dig. But I get tired easily because I'm not used to. And another one is domestic employers are simple to find. Employing is really simple. Someone can come and ask you if you want, if you have any conda or you want to be, any, you can take care of the animals. Yeah. They can help them, they can help you with livestock. Yeah, even farm. In, it's a norm. They are excellent asset to any household. And they are so sourceful and affordable. And it has a more relaxed pace of life. Mm. It's more relaxed pace of life. The soothing natural landscapes all around can help lower stress levels. It really helped me. I can attest to that. Mom, I was depressed. I was depressed. But when I came here and stayed with mom, but now I'm okay. <laughs> Even I started YouTube. And I didn't want at this at first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, boy. Hey, village boy. Hey, then. What? He's washing his shoes. <laughs> they know how to take care of themselves. It's not a must you. I guess that's it. You know, the last one is lower up front. There is reduced cost of living, like lower up, lower up front, cost for more luxurious homes. So most people build at home. It is cheap, no rent. You can save up and buy another shamba. Yeah. So guys, you've had the negatives versus the positives, and I think the positives are more. So that's the reason why I moved in the village in Kenya. Yeah. So bye for now. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and most of all, guys, please subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe to this channel for more videos. So bye. I didn't want to be any bye. <laughs> we are just relaxed out here. Yeah, bye.